Hello, so I've been doing some tests to find a good farming setup for 3.19 and here's my strategy. I'm using Harbinger, Ambush, Reliquary and Divination Scarabs. If the map doesn't have any interesting Divination cards, I'm replacing the Divination Scarab with a Bridge Scarab. I try to keep the strategy low budget, as overjuicing is not worth it anymore, so I'm using Rusted Scarabs or sometimes Polished or Gilded when I just have them. Sextant mods are Strongbox Monsters item quantity, additional rare monster packs, additional packs with mirrored rare monsters, and monsters from Beyond. Beyond is not as strong as it was before, but I still think it is worth using. The maps that I'm using are corrupted 8 modded ones. I don't have any specific map to farm, I just play different maps with easy layouts for diversity and fun. The map device mode is Fortune Favors the Brave. All of the maps are Eater of Worlds influenced. The daily mission is Einhar for more rare monsters. Now let's discuss the Atlas. Since I'm using Fortune Favors the Brave, I picked Shaping the Valleys, notable, so when I use Fortune Favors the Brave, I'm getting a 10% increased quantity, rarity and pack size. I have almost all of the strongbox notables, just except the one that duplicates the maps. I have all of the Harbinger notables. Flash Bridge Ridgepoint, Rampart Grove, Eldritch Gaze and the Shadow of Hunger from the Eater of Atlas points, Torn Veil and Scent of Blood Beyond mods, Seance and Unrelenting Torment Torment mods, Exiled Will and Rukus, Rock Exile mods, they make a nice synergy with the Torment mods. I also grabbed all of the Shrine notables, I'm still testing it, but the All That Glitters notable is interesting as it gives 10% for the Shrines to be covered to Shrine, which gives 15% increased quantity of items found and 50% increased rarity of items found. But watch out, as this buff also grants 20% increased damage taken. The last notable is Singular Focus, which converts all of the non-favored maps into basic currency, and since I don't have any favored maps, I generally drop no maps, which also saves me time to pick them up and worry about them. I just buy some maps when I need them. And the last thing, the item quantity and rarity small points, and the increased map modifiers small points. That's all. Please let me know what do you think about it and what would you change to make it better. In the next video I will show the whole map gameplay with this setup. You can also check out my latest Magic Find Build Guide video, the link is in the description. Thanks and see you!